The latest attempt by Al Jazeera to explain its case to the Egyptian authorities brought former hostages together. Terry Waits, held for five years in Lebanon, and the BBC correspondent Alan Johnston, who was kidnapped in Gaza. While the Egyptian government claims the Al Jazeera staff had been spreading false news, the network condemns the allegations. Mr Waits says the government and the courts still have time to think again. I think if uh, the government uh, in Egypt now imprison and convict journalists who are doing honest reporting, then that does not reflect good at all on the government of the day. It portrays them as being oppressive and, well, they've no need to be afraid of free and fair reporting. By Monday, Peter Grester and his colleagues Mohamed Fami and Baha Mohamed will have been in jail for 177 days. The evidence against them has included footage from a different channel and some of Grester's work from other parts of Africa. Yet incredibly, what's to come could be worse still. The fact remains that the Al Jazeera staff are due to find out on Monday if they'll face up to 15 years in jail in Egypt, despite a universal acceptance that they've done absolutely nothing wrong and certainly nothing different to what any other reporting team in their position would have done. As a consequence, it's also become universally accepted that the charges against them are politically motivated. And that, say human rights campaigners, would put Egypt in a bracket of countries regarded widely as police states. The eyes of the world are on Egypt right now. Everyone will be waiting to see what happens on Monday. If these men don't go free, it's a clear signal that there are dark days ahead for journalists in Egypt, but also civil society and anyone who dares to speak out against the authorities. Some argue that President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, having been elected, may now want to bestow some benevolence and set the journalists free. Others say a crackdown on opposition, which has put tens of thousands of people in jail, has only just begun. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, London.